this year I'm trying to be as open as possible and so far it's gotten me a lot of looks but I don't care like I literally don't care what people think because I'll be gone in May so I'm probably never gonna see some of these people again it doesn't matter what they think of me Sometimes there's this girl at my school who wears wigs to school and people think that's weird, but, or I wear contacts to school and people are like freaked out. And I think it's just because only one person is doing it, it automatically is weird compared to everybody else who does the same exact thing. Super nervous. Like to go to school? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like I just have a nightmare that somebody's gonna stick gum in my fur. Huh? I just feel like that's gonna happen. <laughs> and her fur suit to school. I don't know where my spot is. <laughs> you don't know your spot. I don't know where Did the... you just passed it? No, it's 95 and it's right here. For sure. Are you sure? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Trends and how to dress is like really popular at our school. Like my sister even gave me tips on how to dress and she went through my whole wardrobe and got rid of half of my clothes because I'm not allowed to wear it to school. I, it's just, I guess I'm not allowed to dress differently from other people because it'll be different and it's not the norm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who carries flowers in school? You? <laughs> when I first told my friends I was a furry, all of them were against it. Every single one of them were like, you can't do that. Or you can't be a furry. They're disgusting people that are into bestiality or something. And it's made me cry <laughs> during lunch. Freshmen will start any rumor or do anything to like get something going, get drama going. And like sometimes people take our chairs and leave our backpacks on the ground. So like uh, I was with one of my friends and somebody took both of our chairs away and I went and got a chair from somewhere else. But she thought I took her chair. So like it kind of started a little fight and then it caused a huge fight and then I ended up like crying at one point. but. I cry easily, so it doesn't really matter. But like, I don't know, it just depends on how far somebody will go to make a story like untrue or just how far they want to go to just get attention by telling lies. Andy? What are your top three favorite animals? <laughs> Uh, tiger, okapi, and snakes. Okapi, it's like a zebra mixed with a giraffe mixed with a horse. Oh wait, um, at a crew thing, like in a hotel, I thought it would be fun to run as fast as I can down a hallway and then I tripped and then everybody 
I made like a really loud noise and then everybody opened the doors and just stared at me. And I wanted to cry, but I didn't. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. It was easy just like being with my friends, but then when I had to walk to class alone in my suit, that was so hard to do. Like everybody was looking at you and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like some people were like, hey, what does the fox say? Like, that's stupid. Like, that's so stupid. I just feel more comfortable sometimes. If I'm like in a crowd or something, I feel like I'd get more positive reactions in that suit than just me walking around. Like, I know some people think it's just for attention, but I just feel more comfortable in it. And I just feel like I'd have more fun in it than doing something else and just walking around anywhere. Like at the mall, that was fun. <laughs> Another thing with my suit, I feel awkward about eye contact, so when I'm in the suit I could just look, I mean, they don't know if I'm looking at somebody, but like in pictures I feel super awkward, so like usually I X out my eyes or something like that, or I don't even show my face at all, like the picture will be my nose and below, and my friends like think that's weird, but I don't really care. I just, eye contact is weird, and I just feel uncomfortable around it, because it's just like, mm. I think people just don't want to see furries mainly because of the stereotype like before. It's just, it has a negative attitude because if you've ever seen Dr. Phil or Strange Addiction or uh, there was an episode on CSI about furries, but it was like a like furry orgy going on in the thing and it's like that's not what happens at fur conventions, usually. I don't, I've never been to one, so I wouldn't know, but I hope that's not what's going on most of the time. My first time ever going to a convention was at Yumacon, and when I went there, I was like so nervous because my outfit wasn't completely put together. Like I went as a, I dressed up as a guy character, but I didn't wear a wig or anything. I just had my normal hair, which didn't made, make any sense because he had like bright red hair. But um, it was fun meeting people there. And I was just nervous to talk to anybody, except like everybody knows when like the first, it's somebody's first time going to a convention, they always take a lot of pictures and we did that. And we just like asked anybody for pictures even if their outfit wasn't even that good. So I ended up having like over 300 pictures for the first convention and I had to delete like more than half of them because they sucked. boyfriend when we first started dating I weighed like 95 pounds because I did crew and I worked out basically two and a half hours a day six days a week and then uh, 
I quit crew. I got a, a job at an ice cream place. You can eat ice cream on the clock as much as you want, and then it's like 50% off when you're like not working. I gained like maybe 50 pounds in a year. That was pretty bad. Everybody is like, oh, you need the thigh gap and all this stupid stuff. Just like what they, it's, everybody's just like, what they want and what the norm is. They think, okay, that since everybody else likes this, then I must like this. But I don't know, I just feel like with my weight, because my ex saw me go from really skinny to like, for him fat, it just like made me feel uncomfortable about some of this stuff because pointed out stuff and he made me weigh myself in front of him. And then he was disappointed because I had to lie to him that I weighed, I lost like 10 pounds. And then when he saw that I didn't, he got super mad at me for weighing that much. So that was like my first, like I dated people before that guy, but that was like my first official boyfriend because we like actually had meaning in it. But it wasn't like a middle school boyfriend or girlfriend thing. But I don't know, it's just mean. And guys are mean sometimes, but then girls can be mean sometimes too. I just feel like girls are more like mean to the emotional stuff than the physical stuff compared to the guys. They like point out the physical stuff more than the, like, kind of, yeah. Like, I'm excited that I'm in this video. I'm surprised that I got to be in this video, but. Why do you feel surprised? Because. I don't know, I just haven't had a lot of good stuff happen to me lately. Near like junior and senior year, like I lost, or I broke up with my boyfriend, but I mean, I was the one who broke up with him. But uh, then I lost my whole group of friends. Then I like lost trust of a couple of my friends. I don't hang out with them anymore. And then a lot of all this negative stuff happened recently that I just feel like this is a good positive thing that's gonna happen. My favorite part about going to the conventions are like seeing all the cosplays and seeing all these weird outfits people come up with and then just like you make friends because these are the people that are into the same stuff you are and usually you can't, you don't find people like that so easily. I just feel like when I'm in my suit I could do anything I want and I can like, because usually I'm shy and I like, I'm afraid to talk to people, but I feel like in my suit I could be open to anybody. And I just feel happy in the suit. E like even when people ask for pictures, I'm smiling under the suit, even though they can't see my face, which is kind of weird, but I can't help it because I'm so happy. 